Last night, protesters called for justice for Elijah McLean. They want Aurora police officers to be held responsible for McLean's death. Well, today, people are back in the streets, but this time in Denver. Hello, I'm Kathy Walsh. Thank you for joining us. Protesters are out again, as we said, this time in Denver. Jamie Leary is live right now at Manuel High School. Jamie? Kathy, we've got a small but healthy crowd gathering here. We've even seen some neighbors filtering in. What we've also seen a lot of is youth leading the way in these important movements here. And that's exactly what today is about. It's led by a young group of black men. It's called 10 for 10. We saw 10 for 10 yesterday in the march. And they say today is all about those people who haven't had a voice and giving them the opportunity to speak. 10 for 10, they were proud to be among hundreds of other people in the community during the march yesterday for Elijah McLean. They invited everybody from yesterday's protest to come here today. And they told me as we marched alongside them, they want to let the community know that for many, the 4th of July doesn't symbolize freedom. These are the voices that we're going to hear from. We reached out to a lot of the youth leaders um, who, who haven't felt like they've been able to reach um, the community with their voice or haven't had that platform from the Native American community and the issues that they feel, deal with to the LGBTQ uh, plus A community to women's rights. So we've got a pretty big group of young speakers getting ready to perform and to speak and to dance. So lots of entertainment, followed by a march down Welton here. And then they're going to head back east, back here to wrap things up. So we'll march alongside them and continue to keep you posted. Live in Denver, Jamie Leary, covering Colorado First.